Hello, and welcome back to Rangmar. Today, in maths, we're going to be looking at lines and angles. Our Walt for today is to measure and calculate angles on a straight line and around a point. So grab your whiteboard or your pencil and paper, and let's get started. So the first question we want to ask ourselves is how many degrees are there in a straight line? See if you can remember it. Pause the video and write down your answer. Hopefully you remembered that there's 180 degrees in a straight line. It has the same number of degrees as two right angles, or two quarter turns. And a 180 degree angle is also known as a half turn. Now this isn't a trick question. Just think, how many degrees are there in a full turn then? Pause the video if you need to, to write down your answer. Okay, what did you get? 360 degrees in a full turn. It's the same amount of degrees as four quarter turns, or four right angles. Okay, practice time. Now that you know all that, have a look at this straight line. Can you work out what the missing angle is? Pause the video and write down an answer. So the answer you should have got is 40 degrees, because we know that there's 180 degrees in a straight line, and if 140 are already taken up by one angle, the second angle must be 40 degrees. Okay, no excuses this time. What's the missing angle on this straight line? Pause the video and write down an answer. So your answer should be 120 degrees. Again, we know there's 180 degrees in a straight line, and if 60 degrees are already taken up by one angle, the second angle must be 120 degrees. Let's go again. What is the missing angle on this straight line? Pause the video and write down an answer. Well, did you get it? The answer was 167 degrees. Now, can you explain why? Okay, let's get a little bit more difficult. Have a look at this point. Can you figure out what the missing angle around this point is? Remember, we're not talking about a 180 degree straight line this time. Pause the video and put down an answer. How did you get on? So we know that there's 360 degrees in a full turn in a circle. And if 260 degrees are taken up by one angle, the second angle must be 100 degrees. So now that you know that, take a look at this one. What's the missing angle around this point, and how could you work it out? Pause the video and give it a try. So the missing angle was 130 degrees. Did you get that? 360 degrees for the full turn, take away the 230 that we already have leaves us with 130 degrees. Okay, go for this one. What's the missing angle around this point? We already have 333 degrees. Pause the video and give it a try. So you should have got 27 degrees. Can you explain why though? Another interesting angles fact is that the angles inside of a triangle, no matter what shape, no matter how big or small, always add up to 180 degrees. So when we add angle A plus angle B plus angle C, it's always going to equal to 180. If all of the angles of a triangle add up to 180, what's the missing angle in this triangle? Pause the video and write down an answer. So the missing angle was 85 degrees. Hopefully you got that and you understand why. But what do you do if you have a line like this, where we don't know either of the angles? Well, you could use a protractor, one of these guys. Hopefully you remember how to use a protractor. Let's finish off with two reflex angle questions. Have a look at this angle, and see if you can figure out what the missing reflex angle is. Pause the video, and write down an answer. The missing angle was 264 degrees. Did you get that? Hopefully you're able to explain how you got it as well. 
that's all we have time for today. Until the next time, take care.